Good morning. This is Voice of the People TV reporting live from Ikeja High Court, Lagos, where AI profile cases unfolding. Today, all eyes are on the trial of former CBN Governor Godwin Imifili, who faces allegations of misappropriation of funds and other offences. As the courtroom doors open, and special mounts as we expect latest developments in this pivotal legal battle. Former Central Bank of Nigeria Governor Godwin Imifili appeared in the Ikeja Special Offences Court on Monday, 29th April 2024, to face charges brought against him. The charges include abuse of office, financial misconduct, criminal breach of trust, forgery, amongst others. The highly anticipated trial scheduled to commence at 9 a.m. was postponed to 12 p.m. because of the high-profile nature of the case. At today's hearing, counsel to Godwin Emefili Olale Konjo S.A.N. raised some issues on the charges bordering on abuse of office against the first defendant arguing that the extrajudicial statement of one of the prosecution witnesses, John Oga, wasn't included in the EFCC's proof of evidence to enable them prepare adequately for their defense, adding that EFCC's counsel, Rotimi Oyedekpo, failed to attach Oga's statement, requesting EFCC to file additional lists and proof of evidence as provided by the law to incorporate the omitted evidence. In lieu of this, Justice Ramon Oshodi directs the prosecuting counsel to provide proof of additional evidence. The defense counsel, Olale Konjo, also raised the preliminary objection of the jurisdictional and constitutional nature of Emefile's case, noting that the defendant should not be arraigned before the court on constitutional grounds, affirming that a former governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria cannot be prosecuted before a state high court adding that counts 1 to 4 against Emefiele are unconstitutional. But in response, EFCC's counsel, Rotimi Oyedeko, SAN, says it is legal, constitutional, and in the interest of justice for the court to prevent the trial on the basis of objection, challenging the particulars of the court regards information under the cloak of constitutionality. In his ruling, Justice Ramon Oshodi notes that the defense didn't raise the issue of jurisdiction when the defendants were arraigned and pleaded not guilty to the charges. The justice, however, added that both counsel had agreed to accelerated hearing as well as examined, cross-examined, and re-examined the first prosecutor witness, John Ayo, who was alleged to take in a bribe of $200,000, which he claimed was under duress by the former CBN governor. At the end of the legal proceedings, Justice Ramon Oshodi ruled out the second defendant's bill and released Emefiele to his lawyers for further questioning as the trial continues on May 3rd, 9th, and 17th, 2024. The first defendant was, until recently, the CBN governor. Certainly, there is no reason why anybody should think he will run away. It's, ne it's never been a flight risk. He will make himself available, and that was why I had no hesitation in applying to the court to release him to me, and that I will produce him on the next, uh, uh, on the last day, which is 17th, 17th of May, May 2024. Our contention, our argument in the preliminary objection is that it is the Federal High Court that acts exclusive jurisdiction to air cases of abuse of office against uh, persons like the first defendant, who was the governor of the CBN, an agency of the federal government of Nigeria. And we're not just pontificating. In doing that, we relied solidly on the pronouncements of the Supreme Court in uh, Alaji, my Deribe, and FRN, Abidoye and FRM, where their lordships have said, no, this is the position. We only, we didn't make these decisions, but we remain counsel, and we are bound by the rulings of the court. The only thing we can do if we are not satisfied, if the client is not satisfied with it, is to appeal against it. As the proceedings conclude here at the Keja High Court, the case against Mr. Godwin Mifili has shed light on the importance of financial governance and transparency in Nigeria. While the trial continues to captivate public attention, it also underscores the importance of transparency, inclusivity, and rule of law in the society. 
Matthew Ogunswada for Voice of the People TV.